What up players, it's Warboss Tamp in his mug. Welcome to my unboxing video for the Fenrisian Wolves, for the Space Wolves Army in Warhammer 40k. I love these wolves. They look fantastic and they're so awesome looking all painted up. And uh, I don't have a Space Wolves army, but you know what I do have? I have some Bretonians that are going to be Game of Thrones themed. And they need some dire wolves, at least the Stark <clears throat> faction does. So I'm going to be building these up and painting them up as, as uh, dire wolves. But uh, let's look at them if you were to use them in a Space Wolves army. You got one sheet of instructions on how to assemble them, and it looks like... Pretty straightforward bodies, heads come in two separate pieces and you glue them to the bases. And all wolves have specific numbers. Wolf number one must be assembled with 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, and so forth. That makes it a lot easier. They're all gonna look the same. Uh, you're gonna have, I mean, what I mean is they're all gonna have the same five poses as the ones on the box, but <clears throat> the poses themselves are very dynamic, very awesome looking. I mean, just look at how cool they each are. So, uh, let's take a look at them. Because all five of them are different, you've got three very specific sprues. So we'll take a look at them all right now. Beautiful looking sculpts. They look huge. Um, as a, originally I played orcs and goblins and goblin wolf riders were some of my favorite troops to build when I first started playing because they're so easy. There, there was not much motion, they were just kind of trotting forward. They weren't in very dynamic leaping poses like these. They're very simple to build and um, I, I hope one day they get re-sculpted and reissued because I love, I love these dynamic poses and um, the orcs and goblins really need some, some new, new stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to follow the instructions, 5D, 5C, the heads five, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm five uh, B, five A. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these guys together. You can't really tell if there's mold lines right now looking at them, but we'll see how they all go together, and um, we'll let you know how it goes at the end of the video. So stay tuned. And we're back and taking a look at our Fenrisian wolves, glued together and ready for painting. Here's the first one that kind of looks like he's going in. Uh, going in low to bite at the legs and get the legs out from under his prey. Love this sculpt because it kind of takes the standard you would think that the wolf would be at this angle and they turn the angle down so that when you put it down on the table it's kind of aiming low to to dive in towards the feet. I love it. In general these models are all gonna have <clears throat> a little bit of flash when you cut them out of the frame the, the most annoying flash is going to be right where the two heads join together and it's right on the upper part of the head and that's one you got to definitely take care of because um, it can cause if it's too if, if it stays there and it's too it's really persistent and it's not coming out it's gonna make this ugly gap in 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 your wolf heads and that's something you definitely do not want to glue the models together, I used Model Master's Liquid Cement for plastic models. Comes in this little bottle with a very fine tip applicator. Perfect for gluing together plastic models. Melts the plastic together so um, when it dries, the plastic rebonds as it hardens and it creates a nearly, uh, nearly unbreakable bond that, that I found is, is really really good. You've got some mold lines down the center usually of the bodies and down the center of the legs which is no problem. All you do is take your hobby knife and turn it so that the blade is is facing away from the model and with the back of your hobby knife you just scrape that mold line away and it should be gone uh, pretty quickly and you don't gouge out any large parts of your model. <clears throat> which I have done unfortunately in the past when I was using the blade to clean it. Here's with number three. I love this one. It looks like he's swooping around, coming around, kind of encircling the prey. Fantastic. Number four is one of my favorite ones because it looks like he's leaping up and over. So you've got these wolves as a wolf pack. They're, they're fantastic. They've all got like some kind of different dynamic to them or, or like their poses and their sculpts it's like they've all they all kind of tie in together 
and this last one is going straight forward. So when you take a look at the pack together, <coughs> excuse me, you've got one coming up from from the back and you've got one going straight forward, you've got one going down, and you've got two that are kind of like going down around the outside. So you can kind of see how they all come together to form a very awesome looking narrative pack of, of Fenrisian wolves attacking their prey. Oop, gotta balance it on my on my cutting tray here. But I love the sculpts. I love how like I said, how, how action-oriented they look. They don't look just like a bunch of wolves going forward. And they're, they're, they're all focused on what they're attacking, which I think is, is what wolves are supposed to be doing as hunters. And when hunting in a pack or hunting alone, they should be looking at whatever they're attacking and their bodies should reflect that. So as action sculpts, these are all really terrific and uh, some of the better sculpts I've seen from Games Workshop, especially in the Space Wolves range, where um, most of them just kind of look like Space, <coughs> space Wolves, like um, uh, wolf fetishy, power marine, power armor space marines with uh, big hair and big beards. These are definitely a plus. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. Stay tuned to my channel for more unboxings. And uh, you can check me out on Facebook, Warboss Tay, Twitter, Warboss Tay, and uh, get on my website for my commission painting service, www.warbosstaystudios.com.